Hello everybody and welcome to another Pete Man Reviews. Today we have the Generation 1 version of Grapple. Um, this is the commemorative edition release. There isn't really much in the way of changes other than that the, um, the Springer, the Springer mechanism for his guns are a little bit weakened. Otherwise the toy is the same as it was uh, when it was originally released. As you can see, Grapple in his uh, transformation mode, his alt mode, is basically a crane. Uh, quite a lot of Transformers seem to be cranes, uh, must be a popular alt mode. Grapple is in himself a clone or a redeco of Inferno here. Uh, as you can see, the actual, the, both the transformation and the robot modes, uh, which we'll show on, on another review for Inferno, are near identical. There's the colour scheme and there's a few slight changes obviously with the crane to make one a fire truck uh, and one a crane but it's it's fairly cosmetic. That said uh, it works quite well so we won't complain too much. In crane mode um, Grapple is surprisingly um, options quite rich he can do quite a bit so the crane actually moves up and down and extends like that. It even has if you can see here uh, an ex a, a extendable leg. Um, where it extends to, you don't really know because you can only really balance it like that. Uh, however, it's a nice little touch. Um, the only sad thing is the crane doesn't actually move around like that, so you can only extend it and lower it in front of Grapple himself. Um, the, the wheels are quite nice rubber and he even has the holdover from, I assume it's a diaclone or but whatever, the cab moves down. As you can see, there is quite clearly, maybe not quite clearly from that angle, but here we are, uh, quite clearly a seat for a driver to sit. So in terms of transformation, Grapple is quite simple to transform, um, much like Inferno, in that a lot of the, the time and the effort is spent making a good looking truck, less so on the, on the actual figure. However, um, Grapple works fairly well. So to begin with, you just unclip the arms. As you can see, there's a little, here we are, rotate this round, little tab there, and there's a little hole there. Can you see that? There we are. Uh, and which goes into it like that. So you just unclip the other arm like that. You then just gently prise the legs, the rear part like that, and this just releases all this section. Uh, so this section comes up. The actual legs, this rotates down like that. It goes like that to make the feet. The arms you just want to, as you can see, they are on a little rotation there. Just come out and down. This goes up. Same thing on the other side. Arms rotate out. So you can see like that. Goes down, goes up. There they are. Now you can see there's his head and there's this tab here which hooks into this part here. So hook that around so it goes like that into there, that snaps into place, this goes back down, and there we are. Grapple is now in robot mode. Um, of course he hasn't got any hands. Now Grapple comes with uh, accessories, so he comes with two hands and two lasers. And I've only got one out because, as you can see, the, the mountains are identical for both. So if the springs were longer, Grapple could actually fire his hands at you, which, you know, quite amusing but fortunately as the springs aren't power on here we don't have that happen. Now I'm putting these in a um, fairly classic configuration with one arm uh, as a hand and one arm with a weapon. Uh, I believe Grapple also in the, in the cartoon also used it to lay cement so you, know, you could say it's a cement gun as well if you wanted. Articulation wise uh, Grapple has elbows um, quite a lot of the original G1 guys or the basis for them I know he's second wave um, but it was still based on, on previous moulds, do have elbows, which gives good level of rotation. What's also good is because the way his arms are hinged here, he has quite a, a good range of manoeuvrability, so you can even bend all the way around like that. Um, that's actually on par with modern day manoeuvrability for his arms, so they are one of the most manoeuvrable of any of the Transformers. And that's, a, that's kind of the level that you would get now using a ball joint, so that's really impressive on that. That's about it though, head doesn't move, um, though at least it's got some good detail to it. If we just do a zoom in, as you can see that's some pretty good detailing on his head. Um, his legs let him down a bit because they don't move at all and the feet are quite blocky. But the arms are really 
quite impressive on this toy. Um, if we compare him with Silver Streak, you know, quite a good size comparison there, and with Cup. Again, obviously he fares more favourably with Cup, but that said, they all work quite well. Um, that's pretty much all there is to say about Grapple. He's, he's a simple toy to transform. Um, for the time, he's incredibly manoeuvrable arms for the time. Even, you know, particularly when you compare him with the latter day uh, G1 releases, where the Transformers could basically wiggle their hands up, their arms up and down. There was no sign of, of articulation. Here he's got the whole lot. So, really, it's, it's, it's a misspoke from Hasbro there. They should have copied that kind of movement. Um, doesn't seem particularly hard. I don't know, maybe production costs made it more expensive. Who, who can tell? But it's a shame that that wasn't carried forward. Otherwise, the detailing is mainly achieved, as you can see, through stickers. Um, that's not uncommon for the period. And overall, the toy looks pretty good. Um, transformation is simple, but it's effective. The robot mode is probably one of the more realistic in terms of actually looking like a robot, despite being quite obviously limited in the leg area um, and the feet area. Side on doesn't really work as, as well. And, and you notice he seems to be leaning back a bit. Um, there isn't really anything to do with that. I've been looking at it and actually that is how it's, the toy is meant to be. If you look like there, for example, there's a limited manoeuvrability, but really he does lean back a bit. It's not really noticeable that way, um, but it is certainly on the side on view. So there we are, so Grapple, good toy, definitely worth getting. Uh, basically a clone of Inferno, and when we come to look at Inferno, we'll go over the differences a bit. Um, but yeah, definitely worth getting, and say one of the more effective uh, in terms of his arms for the time. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any comments below, and as ever, click on the other links, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.